Should we? It's pretty quiet in here right now. Mm. Hi, Ben. Hi, Tracy. How are you? I'm okay. Are you excited about my next adventure? <laughs> yes. I'm excited. It's going to be amazing, right? It's always amazing. Oh, my God. All right, guys. All right. So this is the beginning of my spelunking thing. And I need Ben to hold my hand because I don't actually know what I'm doing. I have no idea what you're doing. What are you doing? Well, <laughs> so I really want to use Angular Material too, but I can't because, I mean, I could, but it's it's painful. And the reason it's painful is because there's no documentation yet. Right? Ish. Right. Ish. Ooh, look at that. Fast and consistent, versatile, Wait. blah, blah, blah. Go back. Go back. There go back. Is... Go back. Okay. There's a folder called Docs. Oh, my God. Where? Where? Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, there's a docs folder. <laughs> just got theme. Which has nothing. Oh, open, it, open it up and see what's So this is just documentation about how to theme components. Yeah. The so, okay. yeah, so the goal, <laughs> the goal of this screencast is to just, like, be able to, like, look at open source code, figure out where the hell things are, and what I hope to do, my ambitious goal is to actually create some sort of reference site for myself um, so that I can actually use material. So I think the one thing that I want to do, so let me show you the site that I like to actually base things off of. I love Materialize CSS. And, you know, it just has like, you know, that, and then it actually has the markup, right? Yeah, looks good. Yeah, so that's kind of what I want to do. So I use this a lot in Ember, and now I'm like, dude, how can I not use Material in Angular? Okay. So... What do I even do? Oh, empty placeholder. Well, usually in these things, uh, there'll be a source SRC folder. Oh, found it. Yep. Mm -hmm. and then you've got components oh, right there. Oh, oh. Why is it in the SRC folder? So this this is just going to be the... Uh, SRC is short for source. Mm -hmm. So a lot of projects will put their source code for the components and everything under the SRC folder. Oh, because I'm looking at the source code. Yeah. Oh, my God. So now here's the here's one tricky thing is you can go in now and you can look at the source code for one of these components, right? Mm -hmm. But that may or may not necessarily tell you how to use it. Now, hopefully, I'll have something. Oh, look at that. So first, the, it'll be the .ts file, the one all the way in the bottom, is the actual source code. Mm -hmm. and it's the JavaScript. Yeah, and there's no, it doesn't look like there's a lot of inline documentation. Like, there's a little bit. Simple change. So there, this will give you some clue about what each thing that's an input or an output should have on it, but it, you'd have to kind of read the code to figure that out. The other thing you can do to figure out how things work is go back into the folder again. That's in Toggle? Yeah, and mm -hmm. you'll see that .spec.ts. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. a test. The .spec tells you it's a test. Ooh. Now, ideally, this test is going to show you how it's used like the, it's got some integration text in here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so if we scroll through this we might see um, somewhere where like this button toggle group or something is being used what's interesting is I don't see it see it being used in any um, templates which is unfortunate because you'd be using it in a template I, ho I was hoping it'd be like sort of like a copy paste situation, and then I just come up with this beautiful documentation, like boom. No, no. No, it doesn't look like it. No, um, because this is super cool, right? Like if I do this, I'm like, okay, this it's card panel, right? Right, done, right? Mm -hmm. But here, I mean, okay, so now I know it's the selector is going to be button dash toggle, right? Right. So then, so maybe like what I do is I create an app. And then I use button dash toggle and like see what happens. Like I just yeah. stick it in my app and then just see what happens. Right, on the, right. Okay. The other place I would look is there's liable to be, oh, I know for a fact there's some talks on material too. Mm -hmm. Because I think that uh, Jeremy Elborn and, and then Kara and some other people. Ooh. Then, yeah, yeah. Ooh. The README docs. Ooh. So this is kind of helpful. So right? wait, this, is this a README under the actual. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you wanted a checkbox, and there's actual README. So yeah, this is this this might be exactly what you're looking for. Mm. So let's Sexy. let's see if there's some other um, some more readmes. Yeah, look on the card probably for like button. 
Oh, yeah. Read me! Oh my gosh! Alright. Sometimes I wonder why I need hand holding. Probably because I can't look at things myself. I'm, I'm not holding your hand. I have no idea where I'm going. Hold my is. hand, Ben! <laughs> <laughs> I forgot we were recording. <laughs> it's okay, the internet will benefit. Uh, <laughs> Alright, MD input, blah, blah, blah. Okay, this is exciting. So, really, what I want to do is. I guess probably what I'll do is like I'll take this and I'll create I'll just make it a little prettier and more like that that. Right. Right. Hey, I have another question. Yeah. It's a bad idea though. Never mind. I like bad ideas. <laughs> I was gonna say I was trying to make it easy for myself. I was like, hey, why don't I just, you know, fork this on GitHub because this is open source and then, you know, no, but no, because I want to write it in Angular 2 using Material 2. So I want to write the documentation using the actual library and framework. So I don't uh, think I can copy paste awesome. anything. That would be awesome. It's going to be pretty sexy. I'm sure we're going to be pairing on it. Yes. It's of not going to have any tests. Of course. <laughs> I'm not there yet. I mean, Angular CLI will generate some tests for me and they'll sit there. Yeah, you know, if, if we pair on it, that would be my first Angular 2 app. Well, that's not true. I've, I've worked on a couple, but... Dude, yeah. it's going to be amazing. All right, well, thanks for um, helping me spelunk through the code and figuring this out. Hopefully you guys all learned something. <laughs> See y'all later!